Hi, welcome to another IoT KG video. In this video, we'll be going through how to use the pH sensor, which can measure the pH levels of aqueous solutions. This tells us if the solutions are acidic or basic, giving us more information on our plant's growing conditions. Water is neutral and has a pH of 7. Anything below 7 is acidic, for example vinegar, which has a pH of 2.5, and anything above 7 is basic, for example baking soda, which has a pH of 8. All relevant links and code snippets will be included in the description box below. We'll be using the pixel.js for this project, and you should watch the pixel setup video first before watching this video. This video will go into more detail on connecting the pH sensor with the pixel. We are using the pH sensor by DF Robot. Power it by connecting the VCC or plus pin on the sensor to the 3.3 volt pin on the Asprino device. Connect the GND ground or minus pin on the sensor to the GND pin on the pixel. Then connect the signal pin of the sensor to an analog pin, for example, A1 on the pixel. Next is the code. Go to the Asprino Web IDE and connect the pixel. To read from the pH sensor, all you need is the following line of code, where you'd replace pin with the pin number used earlier, which was A1. It should display a number on the left, which means it's working. However, this number doesn't make sense without calibration. We'll need to use some math in order to do so. This video goes into more detail above the overall process. Here's a quick overview of the steps. First, thoroughly clean your probe with distilled water so that it isn't contaminated. Then, dip the probe into the pH 4 solution and wait a short while for it to settle, and then re-upload the code and read from the analog pin again. Keep reading from the pin until it stabilizes. Write down the number that you get. Clean the probe again before dipping it into the pH 7 solution. Measure it again and write down that number. You can plot these two numbers on a graph, drawn by hand or in Excel, and draw a line between them. There should be a rough linear relationship between pH and the number measured from the sensor. Using the relationship y equals mx plus b, we can find the slope of the line using the rise and run method, which will be our variable m and then the y-intercept for b. Once you have this relationship figured out, you can extrapolate this to measure the pH of other solutions. Now try the following code. Replace pin, b, and m with the numbers you found earlier. To send the data to the IoTKG app, put the code in this format. Take note that the pH sensor has to be recalibrated quite often and cleaned in between uses. It should be stored in the provided solution if not in use to prevent corrosion. The pH sensor can be helpful if you have aquaponics and want to aim for the ideal pH level of your setup. If you want to measure the pH of your soil, you could try making a soil slurry solution as well, although it might not be very accurate. To make a soil slurry, mix one part soil to two parts distilled water in a glass and mix well to break up all the clumps of soil. Wait 15 minutes or so to allow everything to settle. Then put your probe into the liquid part of the solution to try measuring the pH. Thanks for watching.